Hi everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Plater Mouse. Andrew from GY6Vids contacted me and wanted to shoot some of my weird shotgun loads at some ballistic gel. And I thought this was great because a lot of gun channels are just kind of scared to shoot some of these rounds. So we got two shells, each with 10 dimes in them. Two shells with 123A lithium batteries in them. Three shells with double bubble bubble gum. Three shells with these glass bobble bead things. And of course we got the silly putty and that stuff's awesome. Since I only have a $5 per video budget, we've always used this five pound gummy bear to shoot at. It's about 10 times denser than ballistic gel, but a lot of people have wanted us to shoot these rounds at ballistic gel. So I'm really excited to see what Andrew comes up with when he shoots these five rounds at ballistic gel. Load it up into the Bonelli. Okay, lithium battery, hit it. Now the problem with some of these rounds is they don't fly straight at all. It's not the shooter. But fortunately I made two of these shells, so let's see if the other one does any better. Okay, lithium, hit it. <laughs> hit it. In this shot, he managed to hit the gummy bear. He grazed it, but you can definitely see how much the battery is curving. It gives you an idea what Baron's up against. So let's see if we have any better luck with this bubble gum. Bubble gum's an interesting material. It's uh, it's rubbery enough to not break apart when it's fired, but it's very light. It only weighs one tenth of an ounce, or about five grams. But for some reason, it, it does work. Double bubble, hit it. <laughs> I think it went through the plywood. Hit it. <laughs> so again, because the round is so light, it doesn't have the mass to fly straight, to stay on course, but it did fly at a tremendous speed and had enough speed to go through this three quarter inch plywood and that's quite a feat and here we see the hole it's actually the one at the bottom of the screen I'm pointing the wrong one double bubble part two go for it now this one didn't have as much velocity in fact it didn't even shed the paper like the first one did and it was almost like a mirror image of the other shot he grazed the side of the cheek of the gummy bear but no direct shot so let's see if we have any luck with these glass bobble bead thingies. Okay, glass. Whenever you're ready. Direct hit. See the dust? Yeah. Direct hit. Well, as it turned out, it wasn't a direct shot, but it did skive off a big chunk of his arm, which actually stop the glass from penetrating through the plywood. So let's see if we can get a clean shot with the silly putty. Now by now you're probably ready to punch the computer screen but now we got the silly putty and we've had very good luck with silly putty and that guy's having too much fun with it I think. But silly putty is amazing because it's a non-Newtonian fluid and it totally works in a shotgun. And I promise you it only gets better from here. Okay, silly putty. Go ahead. Ooh. I couldn't tell if it shattered. Go ahead. Ooh. So silly putty definitely works. Half the battle for these rounds is just surviving the shock and inertia from being propelled out of a shotgun. What's neat about silly putty is it actually keeps its form and doesn't distort or anything when it's fired and as it's flying through the air and when it hits it it more or less shatters but the gummy bear really was just too tough for the silly putty to really cause any damage it just deflected it completely now dimes are really cool we've got 10 of them in the shell and we're running them through a improved cylinder choke on this Benelli shotgun and that should keep the grouping fairly tight and hopefully we can hit the gummy bear with multiple dimes. Alright, hit it. 
Oh. Oh. Keep the change, you filthy animal. All right, hit it. Oh. Oh. Now keep your eye on the bee. I think he kind of makes a daring escape in the last second. The suspense is killing me. Well, maybe not. Dimes are really amazing, but a lot of people want to like glue the dimes together or put wax on them or something, and that just kind of takes away the the uh, the whole intrigue of shooting dimes, where you get a spread and they each fly independently and do their own damage. So if I was to glue them all together, it would just be like a lousy solid metal slug. But I can actually take a hammer and flatten these all back out and recoup a lot of my uh, loss there. With the improved cylinder choke, we had a pretty good grouping and most of the dimes hit the gummy bear and we were just pulling all kinds of them out. And uh, well, it gets kind of graphic here, kids, so turn your heads. Now be sure to check out Andrew's channel because he's going to be shooting all these rounds at Ballistic Gel. And I hope he has better luck than we did. Now in part two, we'll be shooting the remaining rounds at a truck door. So be sure to check that out. Thank you and bye-bye.